Hello, JW soldiers. We hope you have done very well in your GATE 2023 mechanical exam. In this particular video, we are going to talk about the weightage of particular sections and difficulty level. And finally, we are going to talk about the expected cutoff also. So as far as GATE 2023 mechanical is concerned, if you see, uh, there were total uh, 25 entities, seven, question, seven questions of one mark each, 18 questions of two marks each. The weightage of entity was 43 marks. As far as MCQ is concerned, total 32 questions, 17 questions of one mark each, 15 questions of two marks each, a total 47 marks. So if you observe carefully, the weightage of NAT and MCQ is uh, quite similar. They are very near to each other, right? As far as MSQ, multiple select question is concerned, there are total eight questions, six questions of one mark each, and two questions of two marks each. If you see the weightage of MSQ, 10 marks. So total marks, 100. Total number of questions, 65. Right? So now let me talk about the weightage of a thermal and fluid. So basic thermodynamics, total 4 questions, 7 marks weightage, easy questions. There was only one question which was a little conceptual where you need to find the work done against atmosphere. That was a little conceptual, otherwise easy questions. As far as applied thermodynamics is concerned, very disappointing, only one question came, one mark, right? Fluid mechanics was heavyweight this time. Total five questions, nine marks. Fluid mechanics was having the very, very, very high weightage as far as fluid mechanics and thermodynamics wala part is concerned. Now, fluid machinery, very disappointing, no question heat transfer total five questions seven marks and then let us go to next segment design i will invite approve sir for discussing the design part so from design a uh, part if you see engineering mechanics there were three questions of two marks strength of materials five questions of two marks and three question of one mark very high weightage this year uh, almost double of what came last year in machine design, as expected, there were only three questions of one mark, so three marks questions. Uh, theory of machines, uh, uh, it was not expected that there will be so less number of questions. So from theory of machines, there were only two questions of one mark. And in vibration on also, there was only one question. As far as the difficulty level compared to last year is concerned, uh, from engineering mechanics and strength of materials, almost same difficulty level questions were there. They were moderately difficult. Uh, uh, half of the strength of material questions were very basic, but the rest of the half were a uh, little difficult because it was not uh, uh, from expected areas. It was completely different. Uh, as far as machine design and uh, other subjects are concerned, machine design was very easy. Theory of machines, vibrations, they were very easy. Pretty basic questions. So overall, if you see design part, compared to last year, it was easier. Uh, now, for the next part, production part, I would like to introduce... Uh, so this, sir. So this year, uh, material science, the uh, two uh, uh, two questions came, uh, two marks each. Uh, both were basically NAT type of thing. And the production, there were nine questions of 15 marks, three one marks question, and two uh, uh, six uh, questions of two marks. Here, uh, especially uh, this year for production, it was tougher compared to the last year. For example, two questions were very very lengthy. For example, additive manufacturing. And uh, there was one question of the basically it's a mathematics type of question on coordinate matter measuring machine. These questions are very, very lengthy. And other questions, they try to incorporate a lot of fundamentals. So I read basically out of 19 marks allocated for material science and production, five, six marks were easy. Four marks were moderate and nine marks were difficult. Now, as far as the industrial engineering is concerned, there were only three questions. Uh, two questions of one marks and one question or two marks. They were very, very easy questions. For example, break even analysis, the way we, uh, I mean, the inventory control, the way we do the different types of curves and all that, linear programming. So, industrial engineering was very, very easy. That's what my opinion is. Now, I request our faculty of uh, aptitude on, uh, to mathematics. So this year, as you know, maths and aptitude got some fixed weightage in gate examination. So in aptitude, we have five one mark questions and five two marks questions actually, which were relatively easy as compared to the last years. Okay, and the con the type of logic that was asked in aptitude questions was quite easier than compared to last year. And coming to mathematics, it has a fixed weightage of thirteen marks straight away. So four five one mark questions and four two marks questions. So total thirteen marks. And coming to this year, complexity in mathematics paper was very easy because more number of frequently asked models got repeated. 
and if you could solve easily la for the last 10 year pyqs you would have definitely got some uh, 10 to 11 marks out of 13 very easily only one to one question was slightly conceptual and that's from the laplace transforms actually okay so uh, in view of all our sections cutoffs so if you see the cutoff could be somewhere around 32 to 34 marks in between and uh, the number of students who qualify can also engage uh, quietly because majority of the questions were easy this time actually so uh, that's basically from the maths and active advantage. So this is, of course, the same thing. What I have taught is tabulated here. Thank you. Chalo, thank you. To bully me, I cut it.